for the past 10 years, the Syrian people living in the refugee camps have suffered from the harsh cold winds and low temperatures. This year, we came across a camp which hadn't received aid in many years. Alhamdulillah, with your help, we raised over 50,000 pounds. And this is the result of your help. Hi, Asalaamu As Alaikum. We are here at the Warm Hugs 2000 campaign. We've got 2000 families in the refugee camp here. People are behind me and they're all taking their stuff. You can see the coal, the bags of uh, blankets and the beer in. So let's get everyone taking this stuff because it's pouring down and it's freezing, freezing cold. Bismillah. Now we're in the house of Khalisa Omarab. She's got six children, two are boys who are deaf and mute. She's got a daughter who's 18, who has Down syndrome and has got diabetes herself. She's got diabetes and she's got an elder husband. And there's eight of them living in this tiny cabin. So we bought her the bag of berin and the coal and she's put the berin straight in. الله يوفقكم ويحن عليكم يا رب يعني والله يساعدتونا Two thousand families, five days of distributions inshallah and tons and tons of fuel inshallah we're going to be distributing all of this thanks to your help and the warm hugs campaign so please keep supporting please keep donating it's a long winter here in syria and your brothers and sisters urgently need your help and support Okay, so it's important to understand that these camps were established more than eight or nine years ago and a lot of the people here are living in containers but people get the impression that because they've been given containers that their lives are good. A lot of these places have literally become like shantytown, people have started to build around them and this is what we see here, a family from Aleppo, an uh, elderly widow and her daughter who's also a widow with children for the last eight or nine years no one's come to see them so this bearing this coal really makes a big difference inshallah on, yes, on.
Alhamdulillah, we bought in the biri, the coal. Uh, you can see I'm a little bit out of breath. It was a bit heavy. But, subhanAllah, this is what the sister was burning beforehand. They were going out into the streets, into um, the Mukhayyam, the refugee camp, finding stuff to burn, like cardboard, you know, old shoes, and little bits of cloth to put in the heater to keep warm. And Alhamdulillah, would you lot's help, man? You lot bought them coal, you know, birin, blankets. That's fuel. That will actually heat up the room much more than anything like this could. You get me through. I know he will. You get me through. Today we are here in Camp Noor and this is the last day of our distribution that we've been doing here in this camp. We've distributed to over 10,000 people. It's a huge winter distribution, the biggest we've done in North Aleppo since we've been here in Syria. We've been giving blankets, coal and bearing to try and help keep the families warm. Jazakallah khairan to every single person that donated and please keep us and the people of Syria in your du'as. Assalamu alaikum. How do you feel? What do you mean? Don't ask me. You're pressing time. No, I'm happy. I'm around the children. I'm happy in my element in the camps, and it's nice and bright today. So it's sunny. Yeah, I'm really happy. We're basically finished now. It was a long, long distribution. It wasn't really a long distribution. It was a long day, but alhamdulillah, I've seen everyone and how happy we are. I'm really happy. Fifty words. Two words. Crazy, but alhamdulillah. Fifty words. Alhamdulillah, the square. It's finally empty. It was a bit chaotic, but alhamdulillah, it seems like everybody has got their packs. Just want to thank everybody. We can't do this work without you guys, but this is a drop in the ocean. There's so many families, so many people this winter. It's going to be so tough for them, and your donations make a massive difference. Two words. It's been a good experience, alhamdulillah, just been to all these people. New area, we've been able to meet new people and find out about new cases and inshallah we're going to plan to come back to this camp to help the people as much as we can inshallah.